Today I'm sitting down and filming a minimal makeup look. This look is super easy, anyone can do it. Let's jump right in and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is some primer. This one's from Milani, the Prime Shield. If any of you are makeup lovers like me and you live by me, our Walmart did not have Milani. And I went there a week ago and they had Milani and I was so excited. So I've only had this for about a week, but so far I really like it. So whenever I'm going for a minimal makeup look, I love to use the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. Today I'm gonna go in with two different shades just because I'm not this light and I'm not this dark. So this one is the shade 202 Creamy Natural and this is 203 Nude Beige. So I always shake them up. And then I just apply it on the back of my hand. And I just mix them together until I think it's a good shade. I think that's gonna be good. So I'm just gonna dot that on my face. I apply the most on my cheeks because that's where I have lots of redness. And then just blending it in with this Real Techniques sponge. When you're using a sponge, always tap it on your face. Don't swipe it. Okay, so I'm taking what's left and I'm applying it down my neck. <laughs> Now, normally I would go in with a little more foundation on my cheeks, just because, like I said, I have lots of redness. But for minimal makeup, I don't do that. Now, let's go in with some concealer. I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I use this pretty much every time. Blending it in with the same sponge. So one thing I do, whether minimal makeup or full coverage, I always, when um, blending out my under eye, take it up over my eye and just cover my whole eyelid that way. It's all the same color. It all flows together and also, that way if you don't want to, you don't have to use eyeshadow primer, concealer works just as well. So. Today, that's what I'll be doing. I'm not gonna use eyeshadow primer for a minimal makeup look. It's just supposed to be a quick makeup look. Today, to be quick, I'm gonna use the same sponge. And I always use um, the RCMA No Color Powder. It's, it's really good, it's $12 online. The only thing I don't like is the packaging. Like, what is this? Is this an oregano bottle? It's just like not convenient at all. So, I always put it in this Rimmel Stay Matte powder. So that way I'm, I'm kind of using both, but really I'm just using the RCMA. But this is a good powder. So to save time for a minimal makeup look, I just take it on my sponge. I'm gonna set my under eye. And everywhere else I put concealer. You can use a brush for this, or you can use a sponge. A lot of people do use a sponge. I don't always, but when I'm trying to save time, I do. Okay, so you can see that the concealer on my eyelid is all creased and everything. So before you apply powder on there, you just wanna make sure it's not creased, cause then it's not gonna look cute when you set that down with powder. You can set down the eyelid with loose setting powder, but I just like to use a cream eyeshadow. It's just what I like to do. Even though I'm not doing, I guess technically then I'm doing eyeshadow, but really it's just the color of your eye. So blend that out so it's not creased. Just taking some cream eyeshadow. And when I say cream right here, guys, I just mean cream colored. Do the other eye. So 
like I said, you could just take this brush and dip it in that powder and do the same thing, but I just like to use eyeshadow. Now I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, take a little bit of the powder, like seriously the tiniest bit, so you don't need much, and just set the rest of my face. You can even like take from the center of your face and drag it out. Okay, foundation, concealer, done. Now I'm just gonna quickly add some color into my face. I'm gonna take this MAC 135 brush. It's dirty, like oh, I need to clean my brushes, don't judge. I'm gonna go in with Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. Mm, smells so good. I'm gonna put it pretty heavy on here just because it's not like super pigmented. And when applying bronzer, you want to go kind of in the center of your face. A lot of people say go in a three, so like this. I don't really bronze down here much, so for me it's kind of like a C. But then I also take it at my hairline up here. For any of you who want to buy this bronzer, I'm pale, okay? like. I'm usually like always the lightest foundation shade for every foundation. And so when I bought this, I got the shade light bronzer, but it's really light, like light bronzer, but you basically have to build it up to get it to look like it's there. So even if you're as pale as me, honestly, just go for the shade bronzer. There's light bronzer and bronzer. That's all they have. Just get the shade bronzer because this isn't even dark and it's, it's honestly just like the perfect shade. So. So when I'm doing minimal makeup, I don't contour. I honestly only contour when I'm like going somewhere and I want to look like really good. So I'm not really going anywhere today. So sometimes I will, this is just an extra step, but sometimes I will just brighten up my face. Today I'm gonna use the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana. I just got this. It's not my favorite. Honestly, I would recommend... Mine's broken and gone. The Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. As you can see, mine is no longer. So I'm just taking it under my eye, brightening up. Down my nose, a little bit on my forehead. A little bit on my chin, a little bit underneath my bronzer. Put a little bit of blush on. So I'm gonna go in with Apricot in the middle from Wet n Wild. On a stippling brush. When applying blush, you really don't wanna apply too much to the apples of your cheeks. I like a little bit on there, like, I take it lightly on there, but then I put most of it um, towards the back of my face. So a trick I do for this is I kind of smile. You look kind of like you kind of look like an idiot for a minute, just like smiling at yourself. But that way you can see the apples of your cheeks, and you can guide yourself straight back from there. And I kind of tap it into the skin, and then I blend it. So like I said, I love blush. I wear kind of a lot because I just think it's really cute and pretty. I know a lot of people don't like blush. I always wear highlighter, but when I'm just going for a quick makeup look, I don't go for like a super beaming one. My favorite one to use when I'm going for a look like this is from Essence. It's the Pure Nude Highlighter. With this highlighter though, I do go in really heavy handedly and kind of tap just because it's not super pigmented. So when I highlight, I kind of do the same shape as bronzer, but obviously in a different place. So you want to go like up from your cheekbone and kind of on your temple just a little bit and then above your eyebrow. Basically when you highlight, you wanna highlight the high points of your face. So that when the sun hits it, so when the sun hits your face, it hits the high points of your face and that part of your face is gonna glow. 
I also highlight the end of my nose and the bridge of my nose. Also, I highlight above my lip. A little bit on my chin. And like the tiniest amount, I just dust on my forehead. Now, I'm going to do my brows quick. I'm in the middle of doing my brows and I just wanted to show you guys like what a difference eyebrows make. So, this eyebrow's done. This eyebrow's not. All right guys, so now I'm gonna apply some mascara. I have my all-time favorite, it's L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. Now for lips. I love to just take some lip gloss. This one is super old, it's from Bath & Body Works. And today I'm gonna take this NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Unlaced. For the last step, I always spray my face with rose water. All right guys, that concludes this look. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.